Welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're gonna to get back on the veteran. We are going to uh, start tearing out the inner fender wells, uh, the interior, trying to get it all ready so we can get this thing separated. We've removed the hood in the last episode, the deck lid, the visor, and we're starting on the um, inner fender wells. So they've got these metal fender wells that um, uh, actually connect uh, the front to the rear. Um, they, they come off with just regular style sheet metal screws. And it takes a little bit to try to figure it out, but once that happens, we can take the grill out, get the radiator out. I've started removing wiring. Um, we're just trying to uh, get to the point to where we can uh, get this body separated. So we're gonna get started on that today. We'll do a lot of time lapse, uh, and we'll kind of fill you in as we go along. Stick around, and we'll get after it. to show you guys something uh, so all the bolts that we're using or we've taken out of, of the uh, uh, off the car um, we've separated them out and I actually put them into my ultrasonic cleaner which is just a cheap little thing from Vivor if I just toss everything in there fire it up I will tell you one thing it makes some noise um, but it does a good job I use pine cleaner in it so I don't actually use solvent I just use the cheap stuff you can get from the, the dollar store or Sam's but uh, you'll hear how loud it is but uh, just a cool way to get your bolts clean um, you know that way we have them clean so we can finish bagging and tagging them and get them ready for the next time so uh, anyway just a little tip so we were able to get off both sides of the inner fender wells and they actually bolt to the inside of the fenders onto the core support and uh, actually cover up both sides which gives us quite a bit more room. Um, I'm pretty impressed with uh, how the uh, how there's no rust on this car. Let me see if I can get a, a better picture of it here for you. But there is literally just a little bitty tiny bit of surface rust on the the uh, the actual cowl and uh, I'm pretty impressed with it so far so we're gonna keep moving forward we're gonna work on the interior next um, actually we'll have to swap the wheels out here soon I'm, I don't want to scuff them up in the uh, in the process so I want to get that done I want to get the interior finished uh, if we have time I'd like to start on the glass um, we're getting close. Uh, right now I've got pretty much everything disconnected underneath. Uh, this motor, just to, to fill you in, um, uh, this is a 216. It runs great. The car ran and drove. Um, it's just, like I said in my first video, it's just underpowered. Um, the car, is the, the engine's been taken care of. It looks clean. Uh, it, uh, it runs well. So, um, like I said though, the frame, motor, transmission, rear end, everything is gonna be coming out in one piece. Um, and I'm gonna sell it like that because I don't really need it. The cars that I build generally have later model drivetrain in them. So, uh, but for somebody who's doing a restoration or wants to do a restoration, 
it's a it's a good motor so just hit me up in the comments if you're looking for one like i said it's going to have uh basically a rolling chassis with um with the uh, motor and transmission in it and rear end so um yeah there's it's we're getting close so i'm hoping that we can get this uh this body separated and off get the uh the frame out uh, i actually used my creole to uh, uh hopefully loosen up the bolts uh for the bumpers uh, these bumpers aren't in the greatest of shape but if you were doing a rat rod or something like that they would actually uh, work out just fine they are straight they're just somebody painted them and it just doesn't look that great so uh, we're going to continue with the time lapse and try to get some of this the rest of this interior out uh, disconnect the steering column stuff like that so just hold tight and uh, we'll check back in here in just a second and we are back got a little progress done kind of show you what we have going on uh, was able to get the uh, interior carpet taken out and the seats I'm pretty impressed a lot of surface rust that is generally surface rust there are some wind holes back here very small though. I think I can probably uh, make my own patch panel uh, for that spot there. There's a little spot right here by the uh, corner of the, the uh, driver's seat. So that could take a little piece, but um, all in all, everything looks really good. using this Cree oil. Um, my buddy over at What the Rust uses it and I've never uh, never used it. I've always been a PV blaster guy but I will tell you that it does make a difference. Um, 
with bolts that are this old, you really, I think I've broken so far uh, two. One I had to cut out and one actually snapped, which is crazy for a car that is, is this old. So I'm impressed with the product. I am going to revert to the old man chair. Yeah, I know that's not a, a pry bar, but it works well. All right, got the bumper off. Um, next thing is going to um, work on getting the core support out. And I think at that point, we should be pretty close on the front of the motor. Like I said, we're not going to, uh, the motor's staying in the chassis, so we're gonna have to disconnect the column um, boy, I'm out of shape. I'm gonna try to get the glass out. I was thinking I may leave it in until we get it on the cart, get the body on the cart. But once we get the, uh, the body on the cart, it'll be a little bit closer to the ground. We should be able to just roll it around the shop and, and, uh, and take that off. So, uh, and get the inter the inside floor pans fixed. Years, so. Few other things. Um, anyway, I think that's going to kind of wrap it up for today's video. Um, hopefully we'll have another one coming out uh, within the next few days. Also, uh, next time we'll be working on uh, um, getting the uh, steering, the pedals all disconnected, probably getting it up on the lift and working on the, uh, the body bolts and getting it ready to pull it off the frame. So. Uh, uh, pretty soon we're going to have the S10 in here. We're going to be ripping it completely apart and uh, starting working towards getting the body set down, get some basic uh, dimensions of what we're needing and really start getting into the fabrication part. That's what I like the most is fabricating. I like that a lot more than, uh, than destruction. Destruction's kind of fun, but I would much rather do the fabrication part of it. But, uh, but, I'm really amazed, like I said, the shape of this body. It had a lot of undercoating on it um, that uh, was able to, uh, to preserve it. So uh, yeah, that was a, you know, a good move back in the day. It's really saved, uh, saved the, uh, the body. So, all right, until next time, we appreciate you stopping in. We appreciate you uh, uh, choosing to watch Garage 3030. If we could uh, ask you to subscribe, we're getting a lot of views, but not many subscriptions. And that's what's going to help this channel. It's going to help us be able to grow and put out better content. So uh, if you could click that uh, subscribe button and uh, the like button, and I think it's going to, uh, to help us out in the long run. Once again, we appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you next time.